Okay, it's the final episode of season four, and there's a possibility that I can do something I've never done on Football Manager. Played 35, won 29, drawn six, lost none. One game to go. So yeah, here we are, the final episode of season four, episode 29, I'm pretty sure it is. We could go unbeaten in the league. It is ridiculous this season in the league. Played 35, won 29, drawn six, lost none. Goal difference plus 62, 93 points, possibly 96 or 94. We've been smashing records left, right and centre, but I think if we win our last game, we're going to smash them even further, so we'll wait to review them then. Our last game of the season against Selge. We were obviously together for the two games on TV, which were the 3-3 and then the 3-0. 3-0. We actually had a lot more games on TV after that as well. We won 3-0 with Barman, Dak and Selar. Then we had Williams, Dak and Sitow on his debut getting a goal. Ruda Valenje, Zahovic got a 90th minute winner. Olympi Ljubljana went 2-0 up. Then they made a fourth bit of a comeback and then we just got massively on top of them, won that 5-2. Drew Goritza, 1-1. Then we beat Kersago, 3-1. Lopez, Barman and Sintasal getting the goals. Zavrec got um, beaten 2-0 for Zancela and Eric Janza. Uh, we beat Red Madrid 1-0. Johnny Williams scored an absolute wonder goal, which we'll check out now. So Bade pinged it over. It's going to go pretty quickly. I can. Let's just... As you can see, the ball's coming over to Johnny Williams. He's watching it come over. And then on his left foot, Bosch across the goalkeeper into the top corner. What a goal from Johnny Williams. Yeah, that set us up nicely for the win. We've just beaten Dom Zale 5-1 with a brace from Zancella, a brace from the youngster, Euros Tomic, who came onto the bench just because we've wrapped the league up. He came onto the bench. He's one of the guys we've just bought. And... Actually, he scored two pretty good goals as well. One of his was an absolute rocket. So Palsic takes the throw into Johnny Williams. He flicks over Tomic first time again across the goalkeeper. What a strike that is. And then the youngster has the audacity to step up for a free kick and ping it into the top corner for his second of the game. So he'll be in and around the first team next year if he can carry on scoring like that. And it brings us to today's game against Selge where if we... Don't lose. We go the whole season unbeaten, which, quite frankly, is amazing. And something I've, as I said, never done before on Football Manager. Okay, so for the final game of the season, this is how we line up. Schmeichel keeps his place in goal. He has been phenomenal, and I'm really gutted that it doesn't look like we're going to be able to sign him. Palsic at right back. Klemcic, Karic, and Trigovsky as the rest of the back four. Vahovec, Barman, and Balkovec start in the middle. Carlos Hill on the right. Sintasau on the left. And Zahovic obviously starts up front. Johnny Williams is injured, um, Bradley Dack is injured, Bade is injured, so we've got quite a few people out for the final game. They line up in a 4-2-3-1, Valen Amadi at right wing and Plimek at left back again. On the bench, Zan Selar, Euro Tomic the youngster, Bohar, Janza, Kavcic, Sito and Jaskovic the goalkeeper. Put the guys under pressure and told them that we can still remain unbeaten. There I am in my bright purple suit in the Maribor colours. We're going to watch it in 3D and then change to 2D highlights or 2D for the game. I'm really excited. As I said, never done it. It's something I've never done on Football Manager, Champ Manager. I've always lost at least one game. Corner comes in and Amadi puts the corner in, but it's headed clear at the near post from Barman and Balkovec brings it away. He's still looking for his first goal for the club, but it will take an assist if it happens. Oh, we actually got back onto that header, but put it wide. Long goal kick taken up the pitch. Palsic wins the header. Carlos Hill knocks it down to Barman into Balkovec. Sinta Sal tried to get on the end of it. It's come back to Balkovec. For Hovec. Into Karic. Up the line to Balkovec. Back to Karic. Keeping the ball well in the middle of the park here. Balkovec. Out to Sinta Sal. What can he do? Ball in. Looking for Zahovic. But it's intercepted. But Barman's got it on the edge. Carlos Hill. Shoots. Built. Zahovic is there. And why not get a goal? If he can get one more, that's 40 for the season. Which is ludicrous. Barman picks the ball up into Hill. Hill has a shot. Keeper makes the save but spills it. 
And then it was a race between Zahovic and Balkovic, and Zahovic, being the striker that he is, was not going to give that up and put it in the back of the net. Carlos Hill puts the ball in, Balkovic's there, Barman shoots, it's pinball, Sinta Sao, and it's 2 0, and it does not look like we're going to lose. This could be records point haul, records goals scored, um, record wins. Going in a season, I'm being massive pinball happening in the area. Even Sinta Sao's shot was deflected before it went in. Absolute carnage, but I don't care. Palsic, Vahovic, into Balkovic, a bit of space. Zahovic turns, he beats two, and he fires it into the bottom corner. And that is 40 goals for the season. I don't think I've ever had a striker that scored that many goals as well. I mean, he is just phenomenal. How we've still managed to keep hold of him, I imagine he'll be there'll be bids left, right and centre in the summer. But a lovely goal from Zahovic. Free kick then. Carlos Hill takes it to Klemcic. Vahovic, Karic, Balkovic. Back to Karic. Again, we're keeping the ball. Tchaikovsky's in behind. And Zahovic is on a hat-trick as well in the final game of the season. Barman out to Palsic. Ball in. And Zahovic couldn't get his head on it. Good save in the end from Kopnik. Or a good catch even. But his kick was poor. And Balkovic has picked it up. Barman, Palsic on the overlap. Ball in. Oh, good header away from the defender. Balkovic, Sintasau. Shoots. Oh, in off the post. What a goal. But it's been disallowed because Zahovic was in an offside position. Carlos Hill picks in the free kick looking for Dzhovsky, but it's cleared. But Palsic picks it up just on the halfway line. And it's already an attack. And Zahovic is there. And it's a first half hat trick. 41 goals for the season. Absolutely insane. I mean, a lot of... Well, 12 of them, I think I said, came in the Champions League in the early qualifying rounds. But... It is ridiculous. We'll have a look in the end of season review of how well he's actually done. But there is no way you can't give him the Slovenian player of the year. He has been ridiculous. He has been called up into the Slovenian national squad for the Euros. I'm hoping Slovenia have a poor tournament so that I can get the national job. We haven't got a clean sheet, damn it. Ivek Gubadek has scored. He beat Schmeichel with a looping header and... It was a good finish, to be honest. We have got some irons in the fire for other goalkeepers as well, because I like Jaskovic, our sub-goalkeeper, but I think Schmeichel has shown what you can do if you've got a goalkeeper that's far too good for the league. Um, you can go unbeaten in a whole season. Not that it was just to him. We've obviously scored a hell of a lot of goals. I think having a solid goalkeeper has been really made a, well, made a real difference. So Hovic is in again, and he makes Kotnik produce a good save. And Sels are determined to build from the back and it just hasn't worked for them. And it's been pretty easy. 4-1 away. We are smashing it. I'm very pleased. Keep it up. Probably take Balkovec off. Although I would like him to score since because he hasn't done that since he's been back at the club. But hopefully Balkovec can get a goal before he comes off. Or I leave him on. And um, Oh, it's 4-2. Well, that's not what we wanted, really. I'm pretty sure they won't get back to us. Trzegowski misses his interception. As Kramer gets to the byline, sticks across him, Volas is there, it's a good little header. Schmeichel could possibly do better, but I'm not going to judge him. He's been brilliant this year. Okay, half an hour to go, let's make some subs. Balkovec is actually having an amazing game, so he's not going to come off. Barman is going to come off for Juris Tomic, and we'll swap those two over so that Tomic can play a bit more attacking. Carlos Hill hasn't had the best of game, so Bohar can come on. And we'll just go from there, leave the same formation, because we are playing very well. I mean, looking at the stats, we've actually created three clear-cut chances and four half chances, so it could be even more than what it is now. And we're into the final five minutes. There's been no highlights since those substitutions have been made. So we'll give Eric Janza a run at right back, uh, left back, and it looks like we're going to go completely unbeaten. Well, they're saying that. Oh, he's offside. He's offside. So that's fine. It's still 4-2. Four, four the time ticks down. We're into the final minute or so. And can they make it tense? Can sell? No, they can't. He's fired really wide. That will surely be it. And we're going to be a league campaign unbeaten. Take that, Arsenal. It's not just you that can do it. The unbeatables. And the fact that I think we've only drawn, was it six games? That is redonkulous. Absolutely redonkulous. Played 36, won 30 games. Scored 86 goals against 22. 96 points. Lost None. We've only bloody done it. I've never done that before in Football Manager. That is amazing. I've just unlocked the Invincibles achievement on Steam. Oh yeah, great stuff. Absolutely great stuff. NK Mara finished after celebrating after they managed to go to the entire season without losing with an incredible 30, winning an incredible 30 of their 36 games. 
Hearts are running unbeaten run, only maintained by late equalisers against Gonzale and Gurisa. The season also some great wins along the way, perhaps notably a 5 0 humbling at Gurisa, 5 2 against Lublin, and the emphatic 5 1 against Domzale, as well as the 3 0 humbling of Radamel. Lucas Hoach in the top scorer with 24 goals, but Trugovsky was arguably Maribor's best performer, whilst Schmeichel kept 18 clean sheets. Quickly save that so that it doesn't completely bugger up. But an unbeaten season. Get in there. Surely that deserves a like. Yeah, I, I don't really know what to say. I've never, ever done that on Football Manager before. So that's a big tick in the box on my Football Manager wish list. An unbeaten season. It shows how far ahead of everybody else we are in the league. Vahovic says I'm absolutely amazing. Right, I'll do this press conference and then we'll come back for the end of season review. End of season awards, Eric Janza, our two left backs, came first and second in player of the season. How Zahovic didn't get it, I will never understand. Team of the season though, Schmeichel in goal, Palsic, Kavcic, Klemcic and Janza. Vahovic, Williams and Dak, Sindersal, Bade and Zahovic up top. Young player of the season was Luka Zahovic. Signing of the season was Franco Lovers. Goal of the season was Bradley Dak versus Rosenborg. So we'll have a quick look at that. So it comes to him on the edge. He gives it back to Sintasau, back to Dak. One touch. Oh, he fires it in low. It is a good goal. It is a very, very good goal, actually. Yeah. Well done, Bradley. Still can't believe Lukas Hovic didn't get fans player of the year. Statistics-wise, Luke Zahovic, 41 goals for the season. Unbelievable achievement. Eric Janza gets a 7.61 average rated. Pausic at the right back gets the most assists. Marco Bakic actually got the best pass completion, which is interesting. Zahovic, as we know, already got the most player of the year awards. Uh, Vahovic got 12 yellow cards and Trukovsky got two. In a season that was pretty poor in Europe, really, getting knocked out of that group where we just needed to draw against Fiorentina, it was pretty poor. And losing in the second round to Domzali was shocking. Uh, we used 29 players overall. And we only ever got a 50%, roughly, well, 48% full average attendance, which is pretty poor. Moments to forget was a 0-0 against um, Triglav. And match of the season was a 6-0 win against Gurdisa. As you can see, we got a draw and then a winner, 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 win, and we've stayed top ever since. So the board are obviously really happy. Unbelievable job. Put a smile on the face of every single supporter. And long may it last. We have just signed the new contract as well. Um, Dave Ivan, who got renamed, they think it's a poor piece of business, which I don't quite understand because we bought him for 65k. So I don't understand how that can be bad business. Injury wise, Euros Tomic actually had four injuries and the longest was four months out. We'll have to keep an eye on that in the future. Balkovic, I'm not too fussed about because he wasn't with us for most of the season. But yeah, we had quite a lot of injuries. It does include all the youngsters and the B team though. So Board are upgrading the training and youth facilities at the same time. It's going to take six months to complete. And we've managed to do it without extending any extra funding. Oh my god, my assistant manager's going. Oh no. I don't want him to go. He's going to retire on June 2020. So I'm going to have to get another scout in. Tavares is retiring. Ah, oh, I think. Yeah, he didn't get into the first thing today. He's still going to be a coach, which is fine. He has been an absolute legend for, for Maribor. And... It's a sad day to see him retire. Luka Zahovic has made the most appearances, 47 in total, scoring 41 goals. Absolutely insane. Kasper Schmeich was pretty much an ever-present, getting 41 since he's signed on loan. He was phenomenal for us. Uh, total number of clean sheets for Kasper Schmeichel, 20 conceded in a 33 and 18 clean sheets. That is bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. Goals, obviously Zahovic is top with 41. Zan Selar got 14 and 17 starts, not bad. Bradley Dak from midfield, 12. Bade from left wing, 11. And Franco Lopez getting 10 as well. He was out for quite a long time with injuries and stuff. 9 for Sintasau and 7 for Christopher Barman. So generally, quite a good, other than Zahovic, there's a lot of spread out goals there. Just got to try and keep Zahovic in, in going into next season. Assist wise, Palsic we know got the highest assist with 12. Trudovsky got 11. Sintasau with 10. Carlos Hill with 9. That's quite impressive for Carlos Hill. Didn't play too many games, but 7 assists and 17 appearances. Yeah, not too bad. Zahovic was even up there with 9 assists, so that's 50 goals he's had a play in, which is ridiculous. Eric Yanza there on 9. Bade on 8. And Dak on 6. Need to up, I think, 
assists from midfield. So if you look at Dak and Williams, six and five, maybe up that a little bit would be pretty useful. An average rating, Eric Jans a 7.61. Tomic doesn't really count because he only played two games. But then Trajovsky, 7.6. For our, both our left-backs to be rated that highly is insane. And then the right two right-backs are up there as well, even though Sitter has only played four games. But it shows the dependence I put on full-backs and getting them to bomb up the pitch. So looking at the finances, um, we've actually been given a transfer budget of £16 million for next year, which is rather impressive according that we've only got a balance of 11 But that's gone down because of the... Uh, the youth and the training facilities that they've just said they're going to build, which is fine by me. Always want to be in and around the best facilities. We'll look at the facilities in a minute. Wage budget, 177 grand per week. We're now just crept into the 100 grand a week, so we'll have to see how we do on that. Sponsor-wise, our sponsors are still going. They're still going on. So 2023-25, we're going to. That one is about to expire. A general, so hopefully we'll get. Or oh, both the general ones are going to expire. So hopefully we'll get two new general incomes. And they should be worth a lot more because we've got back-to-back -back Champions League qualifications. We look at the club as a whole. Kit will be changing and that will be for the end of this episode. Hold tight because you'll get to see the new kit reveal. Damn, they look sexy. Thank you very much, Mark Bowen. I'll give you some credit at the end again when we go through it. Generally, I am now a favoured personnel, as is Janza and Zahovic. That's the only changes that have happened so far. But we are creeping up the list, which is very, very good. We have an estimated value of 21.5 million, which is a lot more than when we first start the game. Our reputation is slowly going up. Facilities wise, we've got extensive youth recruitment, excellent junior coaching, excellent youth facilities and superb training facilities. They are also being upgraded as we just found out, which is really good. Our stadium doesn't have a roof and it was rebuilt in 2008, so it's going to be a while I think until we get a new one. And the fact that we're only filling it 50% in the league season is pretty, pretty poor. We need to up that, but that's going to be the hard bit. We have a new affiliate. Um, we have Hangzhou Green Town in China. We pay them and they sell our stuff in China. It's as easy as that. We're looking to merchandise in China. Very good. Should generate some income for us. We'll find out at the end of this year. I mean, we've bossed the league. We went unbeaten. We got knocked out in the group stage of the Champions League. And we were embarrassing in the cup. And we won the charity shield sort of thing. If we look at the league, I guess we can look at the league statistics. As you'd expect, we scored the most goals out of everybody. 86 goals in 36 matches. Unbelievable. We had the most crosses completed of 14%. We had the most passes completed at 81%. We completed 15,408 passes in 36 games, which, weirdly, isn't actually the top. So 17,000, 16,000, 15,600. Yeah, interesting. Averaging possession was 53% for us. The second best team at hitting the target purely because we had more shots, which was a little bit annoying. We obviously as well conceded the least amount of goals. We only conceded two goals from corners and one goal from a direct free kick. 22 goals we conceded in 36 games, which is ludicrous. And 20 clean sheets to the big man Casper in goal. Really, really good. That is really good. Um, obviously we're top of the form list, we were top of the games without 39 games without losing, really good. We are top of the average attendance even though we're not filling our stadium, we have 6,246 people coming to see us roughly every game. If we look at some player stats, obviously Luka Zahovic was top goal scorer, 24 goals in 20, well in 33 appearances is that I think, averaging a goal every 102 minutes. Wow. Best player at hitting the target was Sinter Sal. 58% of his shots go on target. Jaden Tchaikovsky had the most assists, but look at this as well. Palsic, Gil, Bade, Zahovic, all up there as well. Zan Seller also got up at the top goal scorer list. Average rating wise, we absolutely bossed it. Look at that. Palsic, Zahovic, Karic, Klebsic, Williams, all in the top five. Player of the matches, Tchaikovsky, Zahovic, Janza, all in the top five. And team goals. So Zahovic and Kasper Schmeichel were on the pitch for 81 of our 88 goals, I think it was. Was it 88 goals? 86 goals. They were on the pitch for 81 of them. Wow. Okay, and then last but not least, as I promised earlier on in the video, our brand new kit reveal for the season 2020-21. Well, I've completely ruined that up. Anyway, thank you very much to Mark Bowen, at Mark Bowen. He's on Twitter. If you need kits doing, he's a really nice guy. He'll help you out. But here they are, our new kits. 
and in bigger detail here they are on the screen and we'll be putting them into our end scene so they'll be up there every time we end the video and the home and away kits that he's designed are based on the new home and away kits that Maribor are bringing out in 2017 I think it is that's the year now isn't it yeah in 2017 really nice guy go check him out drop him a follow ask him if you'd like some kits done I know he wanted to do a big kit pack and then put it available for a patreon donation and things like that and it will be totally worth it if he can get that done we continued on the game and we got a few more bits of news in so the Champions League that was won by Paris Saint-Germain beating Leverkusen in the final the Europa League was won by Internationale um, or Inter and they beat Tottenham 2-0 in the final we got more news about the coefficient the fact that we had gained a bit more coefficient we moved up four places to 16th so we got an extra Europa League qualifying position which was decent competition news we had with the league had moved up three places competition wise which was really good it's all good news for the league uh, from there the cup in the end was won by Selge well, well done them we'll won our trophy back next year other news on the finances the highest shirt sales was Zahovic then Janza Williams was third Vahovic and Bade were still up there as well genuinely though all our financial stuff was pretty damn good um, we'd got a new contract two new deals worth 85k a year so that was not too bad our under 18s won their league on goal difference which was really good good to see we're building for the future Kursako got confirmed as being relegated because they lost in the playoff which means I think Dobb got promoted the player of the season vote Luka Zahovic won it Bradley Dak came second and Bade came third which was really good Seven players in team of the season. Kasper Schmeichel, Karic, Pausic, Barman, Dak, Bade and Zahovic. Tavares confirmed his retirement from football and he stayed on as a coach, which was really good for us. We had Brexit. That was all confirmed and there was no changes to anything. So that was good news for us. So we can still keep signing some English players. Last but not least, the league. There it is. Played 36, won 30, drawn 6, lost none. Goal difference of plus 64 and a 96 points difference as we end season four. And yeah, not much else to say. If I've missed anything that you want to know, let me know in the comments below. Drop a like for the unbeaten season. How cool is that? Big tick off on something I've always wanted to do on football management games. And I will chat to you guys in a bit and see you for season five. I'm out. Cheers. Unbeaten. Get in.